Hey, what's going on guys? Xavier Caldwell here with High Octane Analysis, bringing you another film analysis. Today we're going to be doing Mike McGlinchey, right tackle for the 49ers. Mike McGlinchey's a really talented young guy uh, for the 49ers, and they really like him. He was the right-hand man, or should I say left-hand man, to Quentin Nelson at Notre Dame. Both of them, if I'm not mistaken, were top 10 picks, so... You can imagine playing Notre Dame in 2017-2018 season, having to line up against Quentin Nelson and Mike McGlinchey at left tackle and left guard for them. That must have been a, really a nightmare for any defensive coordinator, uh, de defensive lineman coach, really, to scheme up, man. That must have been terrible. But, um, yeah. Uh, he, he's really good. Uh, I mean, I really can't say anything else other than that. Mike McGlinchey is just really talented and, his ceiling, he's nowhere even touched the ceiling, in my opinion. He's huge, 6'8", 315, uh, really good movement, moves really well. Uh, I wouldn't say he's – I really want to make the comparison of Lane Johnson, but he doesn't have Lane Johnson speed. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Every, every tackle that comes into the league wishes they were like Lane Johnson. Like Lane Johnson is just 3'10", 6'6", and runs a 4'7". Like the guy's a freak of nature athletically, but – uh, Mike McGlinchey shows a lot of that. His footwork is really uh, resembles Lane Johnson a lot to me because how how well he moves on his feet laterally and in pass protection. Uh, on screens and stuff, yeah, he's not as good as Lane Johnson, but he gets out there. Don't get me wrong. He he's fast too. He can move and he's huge. Like I said, six eight three fifteen, big big fellow moving out there. But uh, without further ado, let, let's get into this video here. Uh, first play is going to be twelve thirty in the first quarter. Here he is at right tackle. As you can see, like I said, pretty big guy. Yeah, does a really good job here moving uh, on the screen here. Blocks down on Aaron Donald, releases him upfield, gets on to 41, gets his hands on, runs his feet. Uh, gets 41 off balance. 41 really never has a chance there because of that. Really good block from him there. Next play, 11.44, actually, so perfect. Here he is at right tackle. Yeah. Uh, this is a good block because this guy right here has to make this tackle. Uh, 43.54, these two are secured. George Kittle especially, he's there. Uh, 59 has to make this tackle here on the jet sweep, and Mike McGlinchey does a perfect job getting up to him, blocking him out, and sending him back uh, towards his backfield because he knows he's trying to get the jet sweep. That's a really good block working from first to second level by McGlinchey there. Next play, uh, 920 in the first quarter. Here he is, right tackle. Boom. Yeah, really good job there. Notice how he doesn't hold either. Uh, he lets up there just so he doesn't make sure he doesn't hook. But his explosion, his initial punch is good enough to knock him down inside. Bam, see how he gets him off balance, knocks him inside, uh, and then doesn't hold him, just moves his body into his back just to make sure that he doesn't make this play and that he doesn't hold. That's a really good job by McGlinchey there. Say it one more time. Like I said, really good utilization of his upper body strength. Um, moves his hips forward, explodes through his hips with a good punch there, and then moves his body, making sure he's going to clear this lane out in a great running lane there. Good job by him on that play. Next play is going to be 522. First quarter. Here he is. Oh, whoops. That was my fault. I was reading some of my notes. Thought I'd have more time. 
Here he is, right tackle. Boom. Good job. Gets the pancake. Great play there. Great play. Really, really good base block there from McGlinchey. See his step. Something I really like about him. His step just seems so powerful for a 6'8 guy. Boom. Gets his hat on his outside shoulder here. Moving. 90 crosses his feet over. You don't want to do that as a defensive lineman. That's bad. And what happens? You get put on your back for it. That's a really good block by McGlinchey there. Perfect. Next play, 502 in the first. Yeah, like I said, I really like McGlinchey. I, I think he I think he's a really great player. Truly. Um I think he does have a few I think he does have some areas for growth, but as an all around player at right tackle, I love him. I love what he brings for at the right tackle position for the 49ers. And here you see another good block. He works from the first to second level really well. See it here. Brings a guy in motion. 59 comes out. Snap. Good step there. And there just to make sure he doesn't immediately shoot that gap. Squares up with his matchup. Mirrors him. Runs with him and pushes him out of the way. Really good blocking there. Frees up a lot of running room for 31 here. Uh, great play design there. Um, and Even better execution by the lineman blocking for him. Really good job there. Next play, 216. That'll be all for the first quarter after this. Yeah, another another reason I like Mike McGlinchey is just he plays with that nasty streak. Uh you hear you hear people talk about that. Just just being mean, you know, being gruesome on a play. And here he does a good job of jump setting, selling the play action, and then coming to 50. And once he gets engaged with 50 here, he doesn't give him any leeway. Stays engaged on, moves his feet here, making sure he doesn't get to Garoppolo. Does a really good job there. That's really good pass protection by him. And a great job of selling that uh, selling that run because Jimmy Garoppolo is not a guy that's going to drop back on you and throw 300 no play action. Like Jimmy Garoppolo's whole game is really set up through the run. And that's something Mike McGlinchey brings to the table, just that nasty run blocker uh, and, a, and a very good pass blocker. So it's a really good combination, especially for the 49ers who really have to set up that run. The run is their key to success. And right now I'm pretty sure um, the Patriots, yeah, the Patriots are losing to the 49ers, getting smoked right now. Cam Newton threw three interceptions. Uh, Garoppolo threw two. No quarterback threw a touchdown this game. It was three, four rushing touchdowns for the 49ers and a pick six, I'm pretty sure. So if that tells you anything, tells you that the 49ers love to run that ball. Alright, next play, 14-19. In the second quarter. Here's McGlinchey. Matchup against Donald. Good hand. Yeah. Oh, that's not McGlinchey. What am I looking at? Here's McGlinchey. Yeah, McGlinchey takes over Donald here. Does a good job of getting his face around Donald. Donald doesn't give much effort here. But still, yeah, he takes a really good step and secures this block against Donald. Look at him open up. It's, places his hat on his outside shoulder and just beats Donald. Donald really doesn't even try back right here. But still, yeah, this is versus Aaron, Aaron Donald, and that's a winning rep against him. So I like seeing that. Whether Donald puts in any effort or not, you know, there's people going to be watching you, especially me, uh, watching these young offensive linemen. Like I said, he's drafted in, in 2018, so he, he's nowhere near hit, hit his ceiling yet, but he's looking so good. Um, I, I would say that he has potential to be a pro bowler here in the next couple of years, uh, especially, you know, Lane Johnson being 30, 31. You know, after his regression, I think Mike McGlinchey takes over as probably the premier uh, right tackle in the league, or a prototype right tackle, I should say.
yeah, you see, you see his effort there. Just phenomenal. Watch it one more time. Good step. Opens up with a good angle here. Works his face mask around, around, around. Still running, still running, still fighting. That's Aaron Donald again. Jacks him up. Yeah, does a really good job there blocking backside. He has all kinds. Uh, he, he tries so hard on on the on his backside blocks. That's what I really love about him. Um, that's like if if I want to see somebody an offensive lineman's motor, I'm going to watch his backside blocks. And McGlinchey never gives up ever. You will never see him not trying to backside block. Yeah, perfection right there. That's a really good block. Let's see his pass drop. Let's see his form really. One, two. Kick slide, kick slide, comes to him. Uh, I'd like to see him get a little bit more depth here. I don't like how he opened up this huge gap here. Um, but still, yet yeah, he, he does a really good job of getting back, mirroring him, putting his face mask, putting his face mask in there, and absorbing that bull rush, and just setting back and securing his block there, being a good anchor. That's a really good job from McGlinchey there. Next play, second quarter, 3-11. Here's McGlinchey. Boom. This is Aaron Donald yet again. What is that, three reps in a, lo in a row? Aaron Donald's starting to get a little frustrated. Um, and I'll be honest with you, Aaron Donald against like really aggressive run blockers isn't the best. You know, he's only six foot two eighty. There's so much you can do with that size, especially against someone 40 pounds heavier than you and eight inches taller and moves very well. McGlinchey is a matchup issue for really anybody he faces against because he can he can move three techs. He can move one techs if he has to. Uh, he never sees one techs, obviously, but here he does a really good job moving his feet, moving his feet, and blocking him off. He, I mean, that hole is still there because McGlinchey never gives up on this play. Like I said, you see Donald get frustrated right here, just throwing his hands off. They're John a little bit. I like to see that. That's you know, if you can get in the head of uh, who I consider probably the best three tech to ever walk the face of this earth, and I think it's pretty easily at this point. I mean, you're doing something good. This place for a touchdown. See this one. Here's McGlinchey. Call him Mike. I'm not calling him McGlinchey no more. Boom. Like I said, really good pass protection. And you see his footwork. I mean, he moves so well. Like, you'll see a lot of tackles his size just... I mean, it's like he, he his, his foot speed, his kick slot, everything about how he moves is so good. Uh, that's what I really admire about his, his game because... I don't see many tackles his size just being having this much range of motion that he has. And let's see it. Like I said, I'd like to see him get a little bit more depth because he goes to him a little bit, but that'll come with time. Uh, still yet, he does a really good job here. Late hands. Waits for him to make his move before he shoots and then gets his ha helmet on there. Mirrors him and does a really good job locking him up. That's just perfect pass protection. Next play, 49 seconds in the second quarter. Last play in the second. Here's McGlinchey. Boom, pass drop. Takes over when he stunts inside. Does a really good job here diagnosing this stunt. Sees him coming off kind of light-footed. Just immediately goes over. As soon as he sees him going away, it's pretty immediate. See, here he is, here he is. Sees him going away. Comes back to the inside immediately. That's good depth on his drop there, too. That's why I was talking about I don't like seeing him go too far out. Now he dropped back a little bit, and he can get back on this and take out, let them take over on the stunt. That's a good job by him. Like I said, it's the main reason I don't like to see uh, people not getting depth on their drop because when stunts come, that's, when, that's whenever you, you lose that rep. Next play, 12.06. Third quarter. Let's 
see here. Here's my Glenji. Yeah, all kinds of drive. Works to the next level. Gets on 59. It's really good. Him and Kittle actually, him giving this little boost right here gets Kittle this pancake on number 90. Yeah, look at George Kittle, man. Easily the best tight end in the league. And it's not even close. I don't care. I don't care what argument you want to try to make. Oh, Travis Kelsey this, blah, blah, blah. Nah, I don't want to hear it. Travis Kelsey does not have the skill set that George Kittle has. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never seen a, a tight end with the skill set, the speed, and just how aggressive they are playing. Rob Gronkowski kind of, but Gronkowski definitely didn't have the route running or the uh, after-the-catch ability that George Kittle had. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, Rob Gronkowski was incredibly hard to take down, but George Kittle will just beat you. And, you know, if he can't beat you one way, he's beating you the other, unlike Gronk. But the thing I do like about Gronk, they, they both are very similar, and it's the run blocking. And even George Kittle said he models his game a lot like Gronk, just how aggressive Gronk was. Yeah, look at look at the movement they get, and then look how well he moves to 59. Eyes on 59 the whole time, knowing his matchup. It's a really good job by him. I guess I should stop talking about Gronkowski, huh? Pretty sure he had a good game today, too. Nice to see. But after the first couple weeks, Gronkowski might have been done Too many Bud Lights with the boys. <laughs> but uh, here's McGlinchey. Erson Donald, uh, he gets beat here. But, I mean, this is Aaron Donald. See what he does wrong. He gets He gets beat on his edge. So... Comes out, comes out. Yeah, he just gets flat-footed for a second, knocked off balance, and then Donald makes a really good move inside here. I mean, it, it's Aaron Donald. You know, against any other edge rusher in the league, he is fine here. I'm going to be honest with you. Maybe Khalil Mack. Okay, maybe Miles Garrett. But other than that, he's fine here. That was really good technique. Everything was right. He just... Gets out, he just gets out bull, or not really bull rushed. He gets gets out muscled on the outside there. Uh, Aaron Donald really doesn't even put a move on him. He just kind of rips under and just runs. Like, you know, I, like you can't, he's got incredible balance. It's hard to stop Aaron Donald. This is really what I'm trying to say here. So I really can't blame him too much. Like I said, he's drafted 2018. He's got time. Um, next play, 843. But I threw that in there just to show you, you know, McGlinchey's not, you know, he's not Superman. And as much as he beat Aaron Donald on these no-effort backside blocks, whenever it came down to it, you know, Aaron Donald can get a win against this guy too. And right here you just see really good effort by him. Really good awareness on the screen. Blocks down initially. See here. Initially blocks down, sells the play action, gets everyone up. Moves him over, lets his guard take over, then takes off into the flats for this end around. And finds 43, finds his matchup, gets on him, does a really good job here of staying on him and blocking him. Uh, unfortunately, that 54 made the play in the backfield because this is probably a huge gain. You've seen how much room was over here. Uh, if 54 doesn't get back there and blow that up, this could have been a touchdown. In all honesty, I would have expected it to be a touchdown. Next play, 153. Here's McGlinchey. Steps down, getting on Donald. Yeah, just getting all kinds of movement. Donald's still mad. You see him. He's just pushing after the play every time. Um, that'll And that'll happen. You know, I like seeing that. McGlinchey, you know, he he's fired up every game. I don't know if you've seen after this game, once they score that, you know, or once they get that first down that sealed the victory, McGlinchey gets up and just starts headbutting his center over and over. I mean, he was super amped. You see him blocking here, doing a great job.
getting all kinds of movement on Donald. Yeah, just really great player overall. Like I said, uh, he he beat Donald on all of his run all on all of his run reps at least. Here he is, thirty two seconds of the third. Good pass set, yeah. See that time he gets a lot of depth. Like I said, just watch watch how fast he's moving just compared to everyone else. Even Trent or Trent Williams, who is a multi time uh pro bowler, pretty sure all pro a couple times too. I mean he just moves so well. So solid. It's a good job. Kick slide, kick slide, foot movement. Now that he's mirrored up with him, puts his helmet in there, absorbs the bull rush, sits back, puts his hands in. Really, really good rep there from McGlinchey. Hard to say if he'll make a Pro Bowl this year. Um, I'm sure it's possible. It could happen, but uh, I wouldn't bet on it. I think future, though, next couple of years, he's definitely going to be a pro bowler. Like I said, maybe all pro. Just in the NFC, uh, there's just a, f a little bit too much talent at that right tackle position to really give it to him. Boom. Works to the second level, walls him off. I mean, look at the look at the lane he opens up. Aaron Donald here. Let's see what happens. See if Aaron Donald stunts inside. Yep. Stunt inside for Aaron Donald. 60 pushes him out. McGlinchey goes immediately to the next level. Hat on the outside shoulder there. Walls him off. Let's 38 run right off his hip for a good gain there. Really good job by him working from that first to second level, finding his matchup, and then walling him off for his running back to run behind him. Perfect execution. Like I said, he he is a smart player, um, especially re reading the first level linemen, what they're going to do. Um, it, he really doesn't slow down during the play. That's a big issue you'll see with people. When when someone does something on the defensive line, an offensive lineman at least, a lot of the times they'll just kind of freeze for a second and then and then go on with the play. He don't do that. Something I like seeing. 7.53 or 8.41, I apologize. Right here, backside blocking again, wins his matchup, ends up flipping his hips at the end there. You've seen it. See it. Good step, though. Helmet with the helmet, jacks him up immediately. Yeah, gets him stood up, and then is working his hips around, running his hips, running his hips. That guy gives up first, and he gets the rip win. That's a really good job from him. Next play, 7.53. Here he is. Yeah, look at that. That's against Aaron Donald. And you, you can really just see the strength and the agility in Aaron Donald here. And McGlinchey counters it completely. Look at him. Kick slide, kick slide. Notices he wants to go inside or wants the bull rush initially. Eats the bull rush and then gets on his hip and drives him into that pile. That's a really good rep from him. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. That's a that's quality rep from McGlinchey there. He stops it. You know, one on one. How how many second year players do you trust against Aaron Donald? I'll be honest with you. I'll say zero. I don't know a single offensive lineman in their second or third year. I should say second or third year that I would trust. Maybe Quentin Nelson. Um, and McGlinchey's almost got that to him. Uh, honestly, uh, we saw that one play. He gets beat, but right here. This is just a really good job showing his agility, showing his ability to get back on his block, put his shoulder down, and drive him. Uh, and that's just him being uh, bigger than Aaron Donald, being a uh, wider body, more weight. He can just kind of do that. Aaron Donald looking disheartened here a little bit. You saw that little exhale. He just they're, – they're losing this game, and he knows it. Uh, 
Um, one more play, I believe. Six sixteen. Yep, last play here. Here's my Glinchy. Good rip. Gets back. Walls him off. Yeah, good job. Good job by him. Uh, Garoppolo takes off. This could have been better. He could have. He could have got. He didn't really get fooled on that move, but he just let him go upfield and then pushed him out. 54 stops. 54 just gets him off balance and keeps going. He's just smaller, faster than him. But that's a good job to force him upfield initially, just so Garoppolo has this running lane. Uh, gets him out of his rushing lane, and yeah, like I said, Garoppolo just steps up and takes off. That's a good job by him, recognizing pressure, and just to get a few yards out of this play. Uh, but yeah, that that's all the all the plays I have for Mike. Like I said, I really like Mike McGlinchey. Uh I think he's a really quality right tackle, and I think he is a prototypical right tackle. Like Lane Johnson, he's huge. Uh, he's pretty heavy. He's not like a 300 pound, 295. You know, he's 315, 320. Mike McGlinchey's big. Uh, he's heavy, and he can move very well for his size. So, like I said, like he's really a comparison to me to Lane Johnson. It's just prototype right tackle, uh, someone that's dominant in the run game, and then still a very good pillar in the in the pass, and can get out in screens and do a very good job in the flats blocking, uh, being mobile, stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, hey, if you're still here, I appreciate you being here. You know, if you like the content, I post you know four or five of these videos a week plus my picks, um, and my power ranking stuff like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if you like football, you know, if you like seeing offensive linemen graded, if you like seeing uh, weekly picks, if you like seeing uh, power rankings and tier team lists, you know, subscribe. Just hit that red button down there. I post stuff like that every single week, you know, six, seven videos a week. So if you like stuff like that, just go ahead and subscribe. But uh, until next time, guys, peace.